Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. So this is going to be for any significant Pisces placements in your chart. Take what resonates as it resonates with your situation, even if it's not the exact specific scenario I'm describing, if you can still see the energy playing out, it's still your message. Don't force anything to fit. If it makes no sense to you, it either hasn't happened yet and it'll take you by surprise, or it's just not your message, but there's other videos on the channel that you can check out. Whatever you feel drawn to, if a title stands out, if an image stands out, just go for it, okay? Queen of Swords, Six of Cups. Making a decision about the past. We'll see what comes up, uh, Pisces, for you today. These readings are timeless, but if you or you're not a Pisces son uh, or someone you love is celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday to them. And please excuse my voice. I haven't been sleeping. I don't know. Is it me? Is it just me? Or is it a Pisces thing with all the transits? Let me know. Um, but I have not been sleeping properly and it's starting to, to wear me down, but I'm working on it, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on for Pisces today. What's going on for Pisces today? So this is going to be the situation. We'll get some information about it so you can pinpoint it in your own life, figure out what we're talking about for you. And then this is going to be what we can see happen today. And thank you all so, so much for sharing your thoughts, your feedback, your comments. I really appreciate it. Um, and I love seeing your stories and hearing the readings help, honestly. And thank you all for subscribing as well and for liking the videos. I appreciate all the support. All right. And before I forget, if you want readings for all the signs, I'll, I'll link my channel, my main channel, Advice to Think Twice, to the video at the end, but also put it in the description box. Um, so you can check that one out as well. All right, bottom of the deck. Oh, yikes, three of swords. Heartache, heartbreak, disappointment. For some of you, I get a sense of breaking your own heart. Like, you know, I don't, I don't really wanna have to do this, but I have to. Or feeling like you don't have any other choice. It could be a sense of separation. Let's see what else we get. It's not all butterflies and unicorns all the time as a Pisces. You should know better than anyone. Well, five of pentacles in the current situation. Five of pentacles with the three of swords can definitely talk about a loss of some sort. Um, again, breakup, separation, divorce, missing someone very dearly. Um, whether they're still with us or not, okay, there's that sense of longing and missing someone. Uh, missing out on something um, so you can didn't get the job you wanted you didn't get the answer you wanted things didn't turn out the way you hoped okay what's the challenge what is this about the six of swords so for some of you um, for some of you the six of swords is accepting the challenge is accepting things and releasing and moving on okay it's, it's a process it's a process and you're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad days and that's okay all right but for some of you, the challenge is literally moving on from something that has not come together or has ended, okay? Um, for others of you, you could have tried to, this could have been around travel or relocation, or it's a case of you tried to make peace with someone, you tried to come together with someone, you tried to resolve a conflict, um, and it looks like the other person wasn't playing, the other person wasn't cooperating, they were they did not meet you in the middle and it's one of them where again i didn't really want to have to do this but you're giving me no choice it's a little similar to yesterday's message and the foundation yeah the high priestess someone's playing games someone's using silence as a tactic someone or this is what they have been doing that's left you no choice but to leave um being closed off poker face playing games being all stoic like nothing ever bothers them making you feel like there's something wrong with you for raising issues, you know? But obviously with the high priestess, you see through that. Recently you have the six of wands. There's been some sort of success, okay? For some of you, you have experienced a level of success, fame, recognition, reward, popularity. You got the job, you got the promotion. You got the answer you wanted. And this is someone next to you, 
that has a problem with it, unfortunately, okay? And it's due to a level of jealousy or a level of they don't want to, you know, I don't know what this is, but it's almost like you went home all happy or whoever this is, right? And you're like, hey, I got this. This is happening. Isn't this great? Thinking, let's share the success. Let's share the joy. And this other person is almost like they feel like you're leaving them behind. This is not something that you're doing, Pisces. This is a projection, a projection of theirs onto you. They feel like, oh, Pisces thinks they're better than me now that they've had the success. Pisces is going to leave now that they've had the success. Pisces is going to do this and that and the other now that they've had the success. And they've just went cold. They've just went silent. They've started make, making rude, snide, passive-aggressive comments. And you're like, what, what are you doing? What is this? On the mind, we have the Ace of Wands. You are ready for something new. You're ready for something different. For others of you, this is where you have um, been receiving a lot of attention, opportunities, and offers. And it has um, shown you and taught you some truths about a current dynamic you are holding on to. Because remember, you are struggling to move on from something to accept something. It is what, is what it is. On the other hand, you've got all this new energy coming in and it's like, it's almost like you're feeling guilty for your own blessings, Pisces, which please don't do that, okay? Especially if it's someone else's issue, that's their issue. That's a them problem, okay? You've earned this. And if people in your life can't be happy for you, maybe they're not your people. I'm just going to put it out there. You do with it what you will. So what's coming up today? We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Page of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. For some of you, you are definitely making it official. The Hierophant with the Page of Swords, you're making it official, you are now single. Uh, or you have changed your status somehow. You That could be something where you just update your signature on an email, right? It's official, it's out there, it's, it's public. You post something, it's public. This is me now, this is my current status, this is my current such and such. But I do feel like you're embracing the new if you have been in a period of mourning, a commitment of sorts, or family not being able to get together, get along, or you and another person in your life not having be, been able to come to a point where you get along, which is what you wanted, but again, it was one-sided, the other person wasn't interested, they were more interested in playing games and maintaining whatever upper hand they thought they had over you. Uh, or if it's a case that you know you were dealing with someone's projection of their own fears and insecurities onto you and they're punishing you for it, it you can't really talk to that person because they're not going to see and hear reality, basically, you know? So today, I feel like you've make, made a decision, the Ace of Wands. You're going for this new beginning. You're coming out of this time of, of mourning. You're coming out of this time of feeling sorrow and sadness for what this person or this group of people, how they think and feel and why they won't collaborate and why they won't want to meet you in the middle. Um, but you know what? We all grow people and that's okay. That's how it should be. We should change. We should grow. We should evolve. And sometimes that means outgrowing connections, outgrowing relationships, outgrowing places, people, situations. It's a natural phase. It's a natural transition. There's no need for bitterness. There's no need for game playing. There's no need for any of that. And whoever does that to you, when you're just receiving the success of your own hard work, they're not your people. You don't want them in your life anyway. They've got nothing positive to contribute. Let's be honest. Let's just be honest, okay? So what else is happening here for Pisces? The Four of Wands, the Hangman, and the Empress, very nice. So for some of you, are definitely, you're saying yes and you're getting your own place. You're moving away from a person or a family or a community and you're moving in your own little safe space, okay? Um, and this is where you, you're planning how to beautify it, how to make it more comfortable. You're investing in it. For those of you, this is where you're embracing the fact that you're accepting that job or that promotion. And for others of you, this is where you're no longer blocking your own blessing, okay, with the hangman there. You're no longer blocking your own blessing. 
you're opening up to re to receiving you're opening up to going with it okay because for a long time you kept yourself stuck because you were trying to it's almost like you were trying to bring someone with you on a new path that was not supposed to be there it was only for you and you were trying to bring something or someone else with you and that it just wouldn't begin it just wouldn't start it just wouldn't work it just wouldn't come together do you know what I mean what else for Pisces the three of Pentacles yeah look the ten of wands and the tower everything I just said everything I just said <laughs> trying to work together with someone to collaborate with someone to be a part of a group to be a part of something with someone else was an incredible burden for you to bear you were bearing it alone by the way definitely feeling one-sided lopsided effort here and with the tower it was supposed to end it was blocking your progress it was blocking your your blessing it was blocking your development your path so that's why the tower fell because i feel like the tower fell a while ago you had a glimpse of things you had a realization of things a while ago but you've been struggling to accept it you've been kind of fighting against it saying you know what i can change this and that is what has been slowing things down or blocking anything new from coming in it's almost like if only i get them to to meet me here if only i get them to agree to this if only i can get them to change this they can come with me we can do this together the pisces they weren't meant to and quite frankly they're not capable okay and i'm not you know putting anyone down but we're not all meant for the same things and it's not one better than the other it's just we're each meant for our own path and our own blessings and our own lessons and we're not equipped to process handle not successfully anyway anyone else's blessings anyone else's path anyone else's because we don't have we're not them do you know what i mean and that's just what it is that's just what it is so what is coming up for pisces where is pisces headed the chariot the five of wands the five of swords well you're going to have to keep going <laughs> you're gonna have to keep going keep that back turned because this person they don't like change they don't like to see you change they don't like to see the situation change because again it benefited them so either this person is going to keep making comments or being passive aggressive or being rude or whatever but with the chariot you're, you're not even going to see it because you choose not to you may have blocked them you're turning your back you're not seeing them speaking to them you're not giving them an opportunity to speak to you or this is what will be happening okay because again they're figuring out that you're not playing and i feel like again because i was going to look at okay seriously where is pisces headed what what tell me more about the new thing and they just said don't worry about the new thing deal with the old thing first okay so again if you have not made it clear that no means no if you have not made it clear that you're done that you're out if you have not made it clear that they're not coming with you then that's what you need to focus on today pisces okay and it will be different depending on your situation because sometimes what that means is you sit with yourself it's not even about the other person you sit with yourself and you do a cord cutting meditation or you do a cleansing of your energy and your space with the intention of releasing removing that person any residual energy any residual attachments they're unwanted and uninvited okay other times it is literally messaging that person sending them something official to make it clear okay other times is having a conversation to make it clear do what you need to do make it clear in a way that is safe for you to do because they're not gonna they're not gonna let you go lightly because they have an issue with the fact that you are taking charge of your own life they have an issue i don't know who this is but they need to go pisces they just need to go they have an issue with you growing they have an issue with you doing well why because that means you're taking your attention off of them 
and whatever support you were providing them, even if it's just attention, but for others it's going to be attention, it's going to be money, it's going to be affection, it's going to be unconditional love, acceptance, friendship, you always fix their problems, you always pick them up, you always, you know what I mean? That's what they have a problem with. They don't care. It's, it's unfortunate, but it happens. More often than we'd like to, th to think. Um, they don't care about you. It's what you do for them that they care about. And they don't want to miss out on. They don't want to do anything to balance that out. That would be a healthy dynamic, but they're not healthy people. Okay? Mind, body, soul, spiritual, I don't know emotionally they're a little damaged and we're all a little damaged but that doesn't give anyone permission to go out and mess up other people's lives or demand that you know someone makes it all about them demand that someone else fix their problems no there's such a thing as support there's such a thing as help there's such a thing as understanding absolutely but at the end of the day we are each responsible for our own choices and we must each deal with the consequences of our actions or inactions. Okay, that's just karma. That's just how it works. And for the longest time, this person has relied on you, Pisces, to do that for them, to be a buffer, to be their crutch. And because you love them so much or because you cared so much or because you're such a caring, nurturing person, you did that hoping it would help them, hoping they'll see the light and they'll figure it out for themselves at some point or they'll they'll be grateful or i don't know what the expectations were here but you had best of intentions and they would just take 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 no remorse no conscience no no thank you even sometimes no acknowledgement no nothing and it's gotten to a point where it was just bad pisces that's why the tower happened a sudden illumination a sudden shock one time they said something and it just took you took you back and it almost just it just knocked you to your core it just opened your eyes like what what did they just say did they read i think they really meant that you know it hits differently something hit differently to the point where it couldn't be explained it couldn't be excused and it started this process of awakening to it seeing things for what they are and eventually releasing yourself from it Pisces because you deserve your own happiness and you've been pushing it away and blocking it while looking after this individual and living their fixing their problems living their lessons and now the universe is stepping in and saying Pisces that is not your karma Pisces those are not your lessons Pisces, that is not your burden. There's a reason we gave them that burden. They need to learn something. That is not your burden. Okay, you did your part. Now you're being blessed for it. You're being rewarded for it. You go towards your, your blessings, your reward, your path. You're being released from this contract. Because you did have a contract with this person, a spiritual karmic contract. In whatever capacity they hold in your life. This was a contract. But you did your part, Pisces. You did your part. You paid your debt. And now it's time to release yourself you're being released it's just time to go with it make it clear to this individual that it's done however you have to do that and then focus on the new look to the future because you have amazing things coming okay so Pisces that's a bit intense but um they see you hurting and they're trying to show you why things are happening your angels you guys the universe whatever you want to call it and it's things you already know but it's almost like it'd be nice to have confirmation that that's what it is maybe i'd feel less bad about it less disappointed or less whatever the three of swords is for you but it's happening to free you look the sun and judgment and the moon with the three of swords just and justice i can't make it up i swear to god it's happening to free you from a cycle that has been repeating in your life, either with this one person or different people, same thing, that always ends in you being hurt, always ends in sorrow for you, always ends in loss for you of any kind, of all kinds. You are now meant 
for happiness. You paid off a karmic contract, justice with judgment. That's what that is. You've paid off a karmic contract and you're being rewarded with your own happiness. That's just for you, okay? Yes, you're going to be meeting new people. Yes, you're going to be making new memories. Yes, you're going to be experiencing new things. But it's just for you. It's nothing to do with your past. Your past can't, your past can't come. That's just the bottom line. That was a lesson. That was a contract. You learned the lesson. Congratulations. You passed the test. You paid the debt. And it's time to free yourself. And whatever they're trying to do, anywhere from playing victim to trying to push your buttons and trying to guilt you and trying to trigger you, it's not going to work. It's not going to work with the chariot. You are determined. You are determined. All you have to do is make it clear to this person any way you can, any way you're safe to do so, make it absolutely clear. That is what today is about for you, Pisces. That is what today is about for you. And then you can look to the future. And you just don't look back. You just don't look back, man. Okay? There's nothing for you there. Unfortunately, it is what it is. There's a purpose for everything in your life. This, this individual, this circumstance has served this purpose. You did your part. What they do with theirs, all well, that's up to them. Okay? So, Pisces, I really, really hope this helps because it, it is intense. <laughs> um, I don't know what the hell Pluto and Saturn are doing in our sign. But uh, that, that's what this is. That's what it feels like. Okay? Because it is, it is release of anything unhealthy. It's just being taken away, knocked down, crumbled. You're just sitting there thinking, I don't even understand what's, I didn't, what is happening, right? But whatever is going away, it's supposed to. Whatever is crumbling, whatever is falling apart, it's supposed to, Pisces. There's a reason, okay? You're meant for something else. This part is done. All right, so Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know, okay? I'm looking forward to your thoughts. Let me know if this makes sense to you. If you don't feel comfortable sharing, that's okay. But just let me know if you get it. If you know, if you get it, <laughs> if you understand. Let me know if it helps. If you are dealing with these types of things, I, I think a lot of us are. Uh, so I really hope the reading helps. Okay, it's important. And yeah, share it. Get it out there because I think a lot of us are dealing with the same thing. And I think this would give people answers or clarity or confirmation. That's always good to have when you're going through such times. All right. So I'll leave it there. Thank you all for your support. Watch any other video on the channel you feel like you want to watch. And I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Okay? Bye for now.